We're here today to witness a breakthrough of the Robbins TBM for the JD Michaels Coluccio JV, working on the North Link extension for the Seattle Sound Transit Metro system. This North Link extension contract is one of the largest signed with a single contractor by Sound Transit. The project that we're working on right now is bringing light rail from the University of Washington all the way up to a community north in north part of Seattle called Northgate. We have two machines operating on this project. The, the machine that uh, we're going to witness here today, the Robbins, is, uh, is about a mile and a half into its entire drive. So it's got about three and a half miles to go total. So it's about 40 percent, I'd say, into, into the excavation of its tunnel. We've had one breakthrough already on this job, and that's with the other machine. This will be the second of six. So we've got, a, we've got an opportunity to have six breakthroughs in total on this project. Well, I'm very pleased that the machine has arrived here. Um, so we launched in, in November. Um, it's 8,000 feet, so it's uh, been a pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty productive time for it to get to Roosevelt. The Robbins TBM is a refurbished machine. It was originally used on a job in Singapore. We took it from Singapore and modified it for the new pressure ratings of this tunnel and added a second screw. Uh, so we made some significant modifications to the TBM before we brought it here. I would say it has a lot of power. Um, it's got a, a really good ability to, to advance um, in the ground conditions that we're in. We're in uh, soft ground conditions, so we have sand, we have silt, we have till, we have clays, we have lots of groundwater, uh, and uh, it's, been, it's been able to handle those conditions fairly well. We have advanced as fast as 120 millimeters a minute, which is generally considered the, the upper operating limit of this tunnel boring machine. Um, there's been some difficulty moving the sand through the machine, so, that, so we've mostly been boring at about 90 millimeters a minute. And so we're going to look now at opening the cutter head up a little bit more during this interim period. Our company uh, kind of has a personal preference to not use discs unless absolutely necessary. The pre-cutters that we use in place of the uh, disc cutters do a pretty good job of grinding through hard material or breaking rock if we need to. And um, we, for this particular job, upgraded our cutting teeth. and. So far, the, the cutting teeth have, have worked really, really well. It's in pretty good shape, um, all in all. A lot of the teeth are, are undamaged. A few teeth have been have received some damage, but all in all, the cutter head's in good shape. It's going to get refurbished. Our contractor, JCM, is going to work probably for the next six weeks or so on uh, repairing the machine, repairing the cutter head, making some modifications to it. With this hole through, we're just beyond 50% complete with all of the tunneling, all of the large diameter tunneling on the project. Uh, so it's a tremendous day for us to celebrate here. Shaney Wallace reporting for Tunnel Talk from Seattle.